What people use the internet for has changed fundamentally in the last 10 years. Earlier it was just for web browsing and for exchanging emails, but now we have such rich content. High definition video streams, immersive experiences, low latency applications, all kinds of real cool stuff. My upper, my grandfather, he's the elder in my life. He knows stories, not just traditional stories, but just stories growing up in Alaska. When I think of connectivity, I think of how fast you're able to uh, say hi to someone or how fast you can have a real conversation and learn from someone. Waka wing Peter Griggs wing Yupik. People need a reliable internet connection to actually connect to the world and to share their point of view and to experience the world. I'm Yupik and I was born and raised here in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm a husband, I'm a father. I'm a lifelong Alaskan. Home is where the heart is, and, and my heart's definitely in Alaska. From the Arctic Slope to the southeast rainforests, Alaska is extremely diverse. We have a number of tiny communities in places from 70 degrees north to the remotest tip of southeast Alaska and out the Aleutian chain. Almost everything we do nowadays, everything now is kind of digital. For all these you know, disparate communities to be able to communicate effectively, they have to have connectivity. After the pandemic hit, my family was in search of yuhak, and that's Jawar, Yupik word for dance. And so I just decided to start live streaming my songs and dances that I know. At my school, it's kind of like a joke between students how slow the Wi-Fi is. In the past, I pay for a, for a 10 meg service in the area, which I think is the fastest that's available down here. When I would put my clock on it, it would show more like one to two meg. To call that unacceptable, well, it's just, it's the only thing we had available here. Connection quality is very, it's very poor. So what is Terragraph? Terragraph is, it's a pretty small radio that attaches to the side of your house. It's literally the size, just a little bigger than a cell phone. Terragraph solutions designed to be placed on top of a roof. They can be placed on light poles. They can use telephone poles. It feels a lot like Alaska in and of itself. The more people who use it, the stronger it is. Cambium has chosen to incorporate the Terragraph system with our hardware. It was the perfect combination of RF technology and software to deliver true gigabit capacity, which we've never had before. The cool thing about it is that we're able to connect a lot of people without a long deployment. You don't have to wait for it. Fiber is, is very expensive to deploy. Securing right away, permitting with CN Wave and Terragraph, we don't have to invest the same dollars to trench up the road. We can speed up that deployment to folks who today are starving for bandwidth. People are craving the faster speeds. You can't be talking about megabytes. You have to be talking about gig services. This new service that I just started running, the files just they go up quick. What we have found is it's about 10 times cheaper to deploy. There is no licensing cost. It's as reliable as fiber. We can also do it for a much lower upfront cost. And it provides connectivity much quicker than what you would get otherwise. With Terragraph, it means quality of life. It means connecting more people faster. It means school. It means being able to not have to fight over the bandwidth in homes. It gives us one more potential deployment of technology technology that we can use in order to connect more Alaskans and that to us is, is absolutely essential. My grandfather, he has so much to tell. Just by sitting with him for 10 minutes you could learn so much. If, if I couldn't talk to him, I would be so much less of a person than I am today. I wouldn't even feel native, I'd feel I'm not me. And what Telegraph is doing is addressing a very important need right now, where people need uh, reliable, high-speed internet. If internet was not just more accessible, but also faster and just better overall, it would, it would, it would help me connect not just with my friends and family, but just with, with everything. And it wouldn't just help me here in Anchorage, but it would help everyone where there isn't that much Wi-Fi, where there isn't that much internet. We live here on uh, beautiful land and unlocking uh, connections that we never had before with our culture and with our elders because of technology could honestly help a lot. If we do get faster internet speeds, if we do get 
uh, more connection to better technology, then we can use that to communicate and that can make things more open to everyone, not just Alaska Native people, but just everyone.